drag.
user joined your channel. Ahoy, ahoy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, <clears throat> like you described, a lot of stuff was going on in the beginning of the race, especially during the first two laps. Um, well, uh, let's say lap two and three. Um, as you mentioned, lap one was quite good. Get a got away from the start um, quite well, so no issues there. Um, yeah, then there were some, yeah, some new with uh, Peter Jones um, I think we had quite a good fight I mean maybe a little bit too harsh on one or two occasions but uh, yeah I mean I mean sometimes it just happens just that you uh, yeah that you outbreak yourself and then you uh, yeah you bump into your opponent um, definitely don't think that this was uh, a purpose um, and uh, yeah somehow Peter made some sort of mistake i guess i don't i don't know what what exactly uh, happened um he misjudged turn one i guess and uh yeah Strubing was able to slip through as well which was uh, yeah quite a chance for me to uh, try and uh, drive away and what exactly happened to manning i absolutely have no idea to be honest i've just seen her spin out in the penultimate uh, corner don't know if it was some sort of uh, bug with her steering wheel or some sort uh, some sort of uh, driving mistake um not sure about it but um yeah i'm pretty sure sh to, uh, otherwise Sure. Thank you very much. See you. User left your channel. Yeah, we're back. While well, the server gets restarted. Hey, wake up!
yeah, very interesting, Mark, with another masterclass in the end, winning it. And here we are for race two. Let's quickly go through the grid. First Vasquez, second Tiglas, third Roshka, fourth Alvarez, fifth Fulgenshi, sixth Rockland, seventh Manning, eighth Munoz, ninth Jones, tenth Strubi, eleventh Stroker, twelfth North from Nispen. Let's try this angle for this start. Lights go on. Green and lights out and away we go. Vasquez leading in front of Teglas, I think it is. Going into turn one. Teglas taking the lead. Rashka goes wide. I think everyone gets through turn one. No, Vasquez is leading again. And there's Alvarez in third. They go three wide, four wide. A lot of small touching. Alvarez going. And Vasquez hitting him. Vasquez spinning. He, take, he hits Rashke. Oh, big one. Big one. Vasquez involved. Strubing involved. Munoz involved. Nispen. Max Worker. The championship leader was involved. What happened there? Let's rewatch it. He gets a good getaway, like usual. And then the mistake by Vasquez. Oh, and he gets hit, and he gets yeah. That's unfortunate. And North from Nispen is here out. Stroke eleven. Munoz ten. Strube nine. Eight. Vasquez. Jones seven. Fugenci six. Rush five. Tigas four. Manning three. Alvarez second. Ragland in first. Very interesting starting situation, and now... And now, 
we have this battle between Alvarez and Manning for the second position. Alvarez goes very wide, Manning can't keep the normal line. Alvarez stays in front for now. Manning takes the inside line going into turn 3. And takes position 2. Rockland already 1.5 seconds ahead. Alvarez looking at the inside again, going into turn 4. But doesn't take it, Manning defends the second position. Oh, Alvarez going very wide almost into the gravel and that's a good, nice drift by Charlotte Manning there. To turn 6. Alvarez and his Cupra still trying to get second position back. I think Rashka now took the detection board there. While Manning goes wide in the last corner. We see Rashka attacking Teglas in the background. They are in front of Peter Jones. Who will now rub his hands of course. Considering that potentially... Mark will not take a lot of points in this race. Strudel going wide in the background. Can Charlotte now open up a gap to Alvarez trying to hunt down Kenneth Rockland? is working on pulling up a very nice gap to Christian Alvarez who is battling Teglas for third position and Teglas can he take third position outside into turn five outside turn six Move boy Lashlo Tangles. This is a nice little group and there was a touch by Rushka against Alvarez. Did Alvarez touch Tangles? We don't know, but Alvarez definitely goes wide. Rushka goes to the inside. Peter Jones looks. They all go to look where there is a free line. Well Teglas is third. Fulgenshi looks at the inside of Rushka there. Tega stays third. Rushka his slight touch with Peter Jones there in turn one. Well, there was a car. That's Vasquez. What happened to Vasquez? just went to the pit and what happened to Nor van Nispen? Oh she went wide hits the barrier. Let's go back to this group. Teglas touch with Alvarez. Alvarez now pushes Jones wide which causes Rashka to go wide. Strubing now in the middle of it. And Jones sends Strubing wide, that looked very suspicious, and they touch again, and this uh, Rashka now touches Jones. Strubing now lets him back past, and Strubing goes wide, Strubing avoids hitting the wall.
And now I think Strudel is letting pass his teammate for ninth position. He has eight rush for seven. Kenneth Rockland in the meanwhile. Fastest lap of the race. Now the fastest lap goes to Charlotte Manning. Let's drive with her for a lap. Well, she tries to hunt down Kenneth Rockland for first position. And again, she's gaining time on Rockland. Potentially a bit wide here. Definitely getting time this left. Another fastest left by Charlotte Manning. going to repeat what she did in Spa, just with less good starting slot, but held by a lot of chaos in front of her at the start. And this time there's no Max Rucker who could hunt her down the last couple of laps. She's definitely putting the pressure on Kenneth Rockland. to the infield. goes wide in the last corner. And here we are with Teglas on third and behind him Alvarez and Fulgenci battling for fourth position. Going into turn one, Fulgenci, Fulgenci sits back, Teglas drives turn one easily. Little three man group fighting fourth third let's quickly go through the order first Kenneth second Manning third Teglas fourth Alvarez fifth Fulgenci sixth Peter John seven Munoz eight Strubing ninth Twerker tenth Thomas Rushko who's in the pits what happened oh that looks like mm, how did that happen for Thomas Rushko oh it's a collision with Peter Jones oh that's gonna be more discussions when is he going back on track? He's a lot of the time down. But he will go back on track. Yes, he goes again. Of course, in last position now. Take us third. in front of Alvarez and Fugenchi still. Oh, and 
plus one a bit wide there, but out of breath I think did as well. Oh, Alvarez doesn't touch Teglas. Oh, and fastest lap by Philipp Strübing. Let's take a look at him in 8th position, catching up to Alejandro Munoz in front of him now. Well, Alvarez and Teglas, they are battling for 3rd position. Alvarez was briefly in 3rd. Teglas keeps 3rd now. Alvarez. Going down into turn four. Decides the inside line. Takes third momentarily. Yes, Teglas has to stick and slot back and forth. Now takes the outside line going into turn five. To no avail. Inside, switch back, slide touch, and back in third. Counter attack by Alvarez? No. But Fulgenshi is now looking at an attack at Alvarez. And Peter Jones is behind them as well. Fulgenshi inside against Alvarez. Teglas goes wide. And Manning has taken the lead. What did Rockland? Rockland must have done a mistake somewhere, but where? Oh, in the last corner he does a mistake and Manning takes the lead and now we have a battle for the lead. Between Charlotte and Manning and Kenneth Rockland. Rockland, maybe outside, no, maybe inside, neither. Shows himself in the mirror. Thought about it in turn five. Thought about it in turn six, but those are not really prime positions to overtake. The two penultimate corners now, looking inside. Manning goes wide, but uh, Rockland does as well. Going into turn one now, five minutes left. No attack by Rockland into turn one. Let's quickly go through the order. First Manning, second Rockland, third Teglas, four, fourth Fulgenshi, fifth Jones, sixth Alvarez, seven Munoz, eight Trudy, nine Stryker, nine, tenth Rushke. Let's go back to this battle for P1. Rockland goes inside into turn three. Takes the lead and bends the switchback move. Manning looking into turn four to the outside line. Rockland keeps the lead for now. First place for now. Where can Charlotte attack? Will she try it into turn one? Oh, Rockland goes wide again, and Manning takes the lead again in the last corner. Kenneth does it again in the last corner, going too wide and losing the first position.
He needs to stay on it now if he wants to keep his chances at the win. Three minutes left in this race. Up into turn three, goes inside, breaks later. Manning tries to switch back, but Rockland gets first place back. <sighs> Great maneuver by Kenneth Rockland. And a slide drift into turn four. But nothing Manning could take advantage of to retake the lead. Turn five. Turn six. And now again to the part where Ragnar seems to struggle. The last two corners both go wide into the penultimate. This time Rockland hits the last one and he remains in the lead. And I think two more laps now. Oh, and Rockland goes wide in turn one. That's the chance for Manning into turn three. Showing her the head, showing him the headlights already. Attack inside into turn three. Rockland gives her space, slight touch, but Rockland keeps first. Down into turn four, don't think Charlotte is close enough to even attack. Infield. No mistake here by Rockland. The mistake there is very crucial. You lose up to one second of time. The two last turns both go wide in the penultimate again, but both hit the last one. And we presumably go into the last lap now. Lap 13. Charlotte is close. Charlotte looks at an attack in turn one. Rockland defends hard, goes a bit wide there. It's officially the last lap of the race now. Where can Charlotte try it? Probably here into turn three. She tries it. Rockland leaves the space on the inside. And Charlotte may... Can she make the move stick? Does she get the better acceleration? Yes. Now Rockland. Slipstream into turn four. The potentially lost overtake opportunity. Charlotte decides to take the inside. Outside for Rockland. Both break late. Charlotte defends hard but keeps first. Rockland tries into turn five. They touch. Goes in next to her. She touches him as well. Rockland goes back into the lead. Into turn six goes wide. Manning takes the lead again. And Manning seems to take the win now. Yes. Unless she does a mistake into the last corner, she will take the lead, the win now. Charlotte Manning wins the second race here in Spielberg in a nail biter against Kenneth Rockland. Third will be Lachlan Tegels, back to back podium for the Hungarian. In the background, we see Jones and Alvarez still battling it out for fourth. 
and Jones six four Alvarez fifth. Struving six, Munoz seven, Stworker in the end takes eight. Full Genshi uh, is beached. What happened to Full Genshi here? Oh, he just runs out. Does he have no fuel anymore? That would be unfortunate. So Thomas Rushkid now takes ninth position. Two, yeah, really not the best races for him. He, I think he expected more. But will at least take P9. Thomas Rushka 9, Fugenshi will finish in 10th, I think he's not going anywhere anymore. But she wins the race, Charlotte Manning, second race win of the season. Channel switched. And we just heard now will Fulgenchi actually DNF'd due to not having enough fuel. That's really unfortunate. But also means uh, he will still take the six points. We're waiting. User joined your channel. Hello. Hello. Hi. It should work um, if I'm correct. Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. Cool. Uh, just... Yeah. Yeah. Win in the win second in race the second again. Race, a second race, race, just like just in. Like in uh, uh, where was it? Was it? Uh, uh, spa. Spa. Of course. Yes. Um, um, and this time from second place, place, place but again a little again bit a little because bit of, a spun of a spawn out in the first race. Right. Right. Yeah. I think that's correct. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I just seem to kind of capitalize on the moments where uh, the leaders are really behind. So I, I really like the reverse grid races for that reason. Yeah. But we we went really well into race one as well. We unfortunately made a mistake, or I unfortunately made a mistake. And uh, we've slid down the order, made a great recovery to fifth place, um, I think. And then in race two, it was just a great battle up in front the entire race. I was sweating inside of the cockpit. So, yeah, it's just great. Yeah, you mentioned a bunch of let's start with the start. That was quite chaotic on turn three. Um, um, how did you see the whole situation? Because I think it was Vasquez going quite deep into it and then causing... Uh, basically, uh, a domino, domino effect, effect in people, people spinning, spinning and eventually, and eventually even hitting championship leader Mark Strecker. A barrel roll in that situation. The way I saw it is, was um, I was up in front. I saw it was getting very busy into turn three. I thought about going up the inside, but seeing it was three right already, I didn't want to risk it. So I stayed behind. I saw someone behind me going very late on the brakes. I don't know what happened. I stick to the inside, hoping for the best. And when I came out of the corner, I just see a huge um, like crash in my uh, rearview mirror. I see a car flipping. I don't know what's going on, but I was concentrated on was on my race. But I see I did notice that a lot of front runners were behind. So I was really thinking quickly that uh, a lot of people got caught up like at the back. Uh, into that incident. Yeah, and yeah. then you then started, started hunting down Kenneth, who was, was leading. leading. Uh, you drove, uh, drove some, some fastest laps of the race, of the race at, at that point. That I think Philip Struve in the end took, took that one. That one. But, but uh, you uh, hunted uh, him down, down, and he seemed to have problems into the last corner. Did you see that as well? Yeah, I noticed that quite quickly. I would gain, I would look on the telemetry, I would look at the time I was behind, and every time coming out of the corner, I saw like everything I would le lose in the middle sector, I would gain back into the last corner on, on the exit. Um, I don't know how it happened, but I was always very happy to, to know that um, I was quicker like every lap. Um, it was just nice to know that sector one, um, I kind of got uh, have them. Sector two, I would lose time, but I would gain back in sector three. Like it, it was nice knowing that I have that the pace over him. In that case, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. Go for what the last, the last five minutes five of the race, of the race basically, basically non stop, non -stop lead and exchanging, and exchanging the, lead the lead multiple, multiple times, times, even in the last lap. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it seemed hard, it seemed but hard, it was still a, was still a fair battle, fair right? Battle. It was aggressive, but fair, in my opinion. I don't think there should be any penalties dealt out for that in any way. But because it was really fair, I think we both played it fair. Um, it was just yeah, very touchy, very aggressive. But, you know, that's that's turn car racing, in my opinion. So, yeah, it was just a great battle to end up a great race. Just very intense as well for me, so. Okay. Um, then I don't uh, want to hold you up hold you much, much longer. longer. Um, um, enjoy, enjoy your win. Enjoy, win. enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I guess we will see you, after the, we will see you after the summer break again. Yeah, cheers. Uh, have, have a good one, I guess. Good boy. Channel switched. And with that, we finished the coverage of today's race. Uh, a great race in my opinion. Both races were great races. A lot of battling. One win for Mark. One win, win for Charlotte Manning. Peter Jones only fourth in the second race. But second in the first race. I don't know. Potentially gaining a little bit of points to Mark. Not having it exactly in my mind. But thanks for watching. And... Until the next time.